she's always so well dressed. Oh, she's always looking so nice. Oh, she, oh, yeah, like, oh, thank you, thank you so much. I, I don't even try. Like, I literally woke up like this. <laughs> To my channel my name is Agada Victoria and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do this um, everyday makeup look for those of you who don't really like plenty product on your face or um, you just want something quick and easy get out the door I'm going to work kind of thing and then I'm going to show you towards the end how to you know transition from that oh I'm going to work or I'm going to school to I'm going out with my girls and I want to look nice yeah so stay tuned okay so the very first thing I'm going to be doing is wiping my face because no matter how much you wash your face by the time you're about to apply makeup always try to wipe your face because of oil and dust and whatever it is that your face has come in contact with and then I get um, I'll just moisturize my lip now <laughs> that I'm touching my lip and I use this chapstick um, in cherry I really don't know who this chapstick is from but it's a really nice chapstick and I just sit down on my lip keep that moist then I'm just going to go in with my um, LA girl primer my pearl primer so anyways um, you only need a little and I'm just going to put that on my T-zones where I know that this like get pretty rough and I'll just massage that in guys be gentle when you're rubbing your face you don't want to be rubbing it as if you know your face is a piece of cloth and I just take that all the way in now that our primer is on I'm going to go in with my foundation and I'm using this Flawless by Ivy yeah, flawless by Ivy foundation. It's a full coverage liquid foundation. And you guys, this is super cheap. And get my foundation. Not much. This is in the shade Ebony. And I'm just using a brush to apply that on my face. And I'm trying to make sure I don't miss out on anywhere. now for some weird reason i always feel like i always have to go in with a beauty blender to just like you know seal all of that gorgeousness now that i feel like i have literally pressed all of that into my skin you guys it doesn't take long trust me it doesn't take long it's because i'm showing you guys that's why it's like looking like it's taking long for me to do this it doesn't take long now that I've done all of that into my skin I'm going to go in with this um, Maybelline New York in toffee toffee so Ashana is lighter than me <laughs> you want to get something lighter than you you want to get something lighter than you and I'm just going to use that to set underneath my eye like you guys This is what I'm going to use to highlight my face and I will just go in and do underneath my eyes and you guys can see I am just patting I am not like pressing trying to create like a dent in my eye And once I'm done with that, I'll just move to my chin. Move to the same thing to my chin. You guys, if you feel like you want a little extra pop, please have fun. And then my forehead. As you can see, my forehead isn't that wide. I feel like my forehead was supposed to be big, but hair just occupied the whole space, which is a good thing in the end. So. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> so I'll just pat that in. My nose, I'm going to go in with this angled brush. 
I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see it? This angled brush. And you know, I want my nose to look, we're trying to look nice and snatched. So I'll just go in and pop that right there. We want something soft, something we can go to work, something we'll take to work and our boss won't be like, Are you trying to take over my company? Soft. I don't know is it just me or I always feel like some people do too much when they're going to work like why are you looking like you're freaking going to like your wedding when you're just going to work like sis calm down it's not even that deep just look nice go to work come back and all is alright with the world again so anyways I'm going to go in with this palette it's a six color contour and blush palette from BH Cosmetics and this is what it looks like so you guys don't judge me but this one it fell it fell down. down it fell down I wasn't being clumsy or anything it fell down on its own by itself I was not involved so I'm just gonna take this dark shade here and I'm going to use that to contour my cheek bones or my cheek so that my cheekbones can pop a little Yeah, if you don't know like where your line is, fish mouth, fish mouth. I can get that right there. And I don't want to be on the other side. So already we're looking, <laughs> we're looking like we're almost ready for work. And then I'm going to go in with my blush. I'm using this duo blush by Nikak New York. You guys, these are all drugstore products. Like, maybe if you guys want, me, want to see me do it like a proper drugstore video, write in the comment section and I will do that for you. I'm just going with that same brush. Oops. And those stuff. You guys, I forgot I was going into blush. I passed it on like I was tracking for contour. But we just, you know, put it a little. Yeah, and I'm just going to dust that completely off <laughs> ah, before you go to work looking like Alice in Wonderland or oh, no, the Queen of Spades. In Alice, is it the Queen of Spades? I think it's the Queen of Spades, anyways. So now I'm just going to do my eyebrows, and for my eyebrows, I <laughs> drugstore also, Davis Pencil like super easy you just need to make sure that that is completely sharpened and you just go in i have this bobby brown brush the brush the angled brush i used initially for my nose is um an angled brush and is is fully like a mascara one some people call it mascara one and i just go in brush out my eyebrow haven't done that you guys I trace my exact brow I trace the exact thing that's there so I'm just going to you know follow the exact line of my eyebrow let me come a little closer and look I'm very light-handed when it comes to my eyebrows cuz I might not be highlighting this I said I might not and I'm just following the exact I'm feeling that in you guys hmm, you don't want to know I got that scar <laughs> maybe one day I'll have the courage to tell you boy was in a fight done no time to be stressing just blend that out if you guys feel like oh no I like my brows looking very very defined and stuff yes there are days where i want my brows to be looking like no it was snatched by the gods but you know we're going to work we're trying to look cute we're not trying to look like we're trying to take over our boss's jobs and then i'll just go in to that um you remember that highlight powder we used previously i'll just go in 
and place that all over my eye. And once I'm done with that, that's what I'm using for eyeshadow. I'm just going to, you know, clean up the powder on this angled brush and go into my, you know, you can use, um, you can totally use a um, pencil, but I don't know why I really, really like this gel, um, gel liner and it's by Zikel, Zikel Cosmetics and you know to be sincere i've used this thing so many times and i just use a little i'm not joking guys i just literally go like strike 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 and that's it like that's it that's why you see line marks on it and i'm just going to close my eye a bit and just I know some of you are there busy being distracted by what's happening on my head don't judge me it's going to be cute in a while and once I'm done with that I can go in with my um, with my pencil And now I'm just going to go in with this mascara like if you don't own a Zaron mascara like if you don't own the Zaron lengthening mascara auntie you own nothing so I'm just going to go in and yes now I have scattered eyebrows I mean lashes guys like they are just scattered going in look at that guys and then bottom lashes ouch if you don't make funny mouth postures when you're applying your mascara please raise up your hand in the comment section you're lying so before I go into um, my highlights I'm going to be using this high contour and highlight palette from Zaron face definer. I use this for my nose instead So I just take that and I use it to contour my nose Now Give some depth bring it all down you guys I'm repeating the fact that this doesn't take long at all trust me it doesn't and I'm just going to dust off that brush and I'm going to go in with my the highlight shade here so I'm just going to take that tap 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 and you know you want your face to be highlighted but you don't tell your boss you're paying me too much so I have to glue that kind of thing. You just see that the next day they will call you and be like, Excuse me, ma, you know, you see, it looks like we're gonna have to cut your salary in half because I your kayo lay yo. I'll write what that means. That's your barbo. And you guys, the look is almost done. It's just powder left. Now, I use this um, Milani Compact Powder and I just get my brush, get my powder, and I just press it onto wherever I did not touch before. Um, that's all for powder. And now I have this, I don't know, I have this thing with this pencil, like, I like the way it makes my lips look, so I'm just going to go in, 
to define my Cupid's bow. Having done that, I just go in with my lip balm again. After I use my setting spray and fix my hair. So I'll use the setting spray, fix my hair, and I'll be back. And you guys, we're ready for work. Like, minimum products or minimal products and you achieve this. You're going to go to work looking like, oh, I can take on the job, but at the same time, boss, I'm not trying to take your job in me. I'm trying to take your job manner. You get what I'm saying? But anyways, you guys, this is a look you can take to work. Now, if you're going out with your girls, you can also take this kind of look, but you know we have to be extra with our girls. So first, first this off and go into something else so I'm just going to take out my hair and I'll be right back and I'm just going to add lip gloss I couldn't find mine so I got this from my sister my younger sister and Sure you're like oh something looks different about her eyes what's there well lashes that's what that is so and now i'm ready to go hang out with my girls like where my girls at <laughs> jules i'm coming for you so that you know we can plan our outing if you feel me so that's it for this look guys we went from you know this to this and we look good that's it we look good period we look good so you can you know the same look the same makeup but you can depending on what you do you can put some colors on your lip i don't like a lot of colors on my lip so depending on what you want your style Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new and haven't subscribed before. Um, leave a comment down in the comment section. Tell me what you feel about this look. If you're feeling the work look or you're feeling this beautiful vibe. Don't go to work like this. Hey, Jesus, don't go to work like this. <laughs> but if you're feeling this vibe, yes. Tell me in the comment section. Share to your friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.